Hello, everyone. This is Soundfont Guy, and I'm just going to take you on a quick little walkthrough of Guy Engine and its functions. So up here, I have what I call the guide. This essentially shows you which instrument categories are on which disk and the corresponding selection of numbers. These numbers are more or less the same as any general MIDI library. Um, so if you are familiar with GM sound fonts or a lot of romplers have general MIDI libraries, even your computer probably has a general MIDI library. Uh, you will be somewhat familiar already with what these numbers correspond to. But for anybody who's not familiar, you'll have a very easy time navigating with this little guide here. Down here on the left is the global gain, which basically is just the volume, the output volume of the entire plugin. Then here we have the LCD screen. The LCD screen has five major functions. The first is disk. This shows you which disk you currently have selected. The second is patch. This shows which patch you currently have selected. Patch also means instrument. Down here you have the LFO shape, which is essentially just the shape of your low frequency oscillator. These are your options here. Then you have filter type, low pass and high pass. And then of course the most important part of the LCD screen is this little guy here, who is 3D and you can rotate him. Just below the LCD screen, we have the attack, decay, sustain, and release, and patch gain. So this here is gain for the patch that you currently have selected, which will be different depending on what you have selected. So I'll turn it all the way up for the harp, and then I'll go to the next one here and see pizzicato strings, it's down lower. But none of this changes the global gain. So if you have a patch that you find a little bit too loud or a little bit too quiet, but you you know don't want to have to mess with the global gain, you can do it per patch. Uh, there will be more to this function at a a later date hopefully uh, but for right now that's all it does over here on the right side we have the little guy the logo so if you click on this in the free version it'll take you to the purchase page for the full version if you have the full version then it just takes you to the YouTube channel then of course there's the register button which will bring up the prompt to put in your code to register the uh, the plugin uh, you will have to do this once for every disk um, except for except for the ones that are completely free the free ones have no need to register but any of the paid disks like the the main disks for the paid version of Guy Engine and any expansions that are paid will also require to be registered. I know it's a little tedious to have to register all four disks in the initial plugin. Yeah, I, I wish there was a way around this. I know it's inconvenient, um, but once it's done, it's done for good. Over here, we have the cutoff. This is your cutoff frequency that corresponds to whichever filter type you have here. And then, of course, we have a little keyboard. Mm -hmm. So you can, you know, click on the keys and, and hear the notes. On the left here, we have the player one controller. The left bumper currently doesn't really do anything. Um, in some cases, it may play a note. Other, other cases, it won't. I have plans for functions for that in the future. But for the moment, it doesn't really do anything. The left and right buttons will scroll through the patches of your current disk. And the up and down buttons will scroll through disks. The analog sticks here in the middle control the depth and rate of the LFO. The right bumper toggles the reverb on and off. These, of course, are the parameters for the reverb, like mix, size, damp, and width. Over here on the player two controller, we have the left bumper, which again, doesn't really do anything yet. You can press it if you want for fun. Again, I do have some plans for these functions in the future, but for the moment, they're just clickable buttons. Uh, these here don't do anything, but this will change your polyphony mode from poly, mono, legato. Then over here on the right bumper, we have the delay toggle, and then your delay parameters mix, time, and feedback. And then here we have portamento, which will correspond with your polyphony type. And then down here, the analog sticks are your delay sync for tempo synchronized delay effect. And one final note about the interface here is that you can click directly here to change your disc. If you don't feel like scrolling through them with these controls up here or with these down here, you can just click right on it and click whichever disc you want. And the same goes for the patch. Now I'm just going to play a few pieces of music that were made entirely with Guy Engine so that you can hear how it sounds in action.